Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about how to use a drywall sander and in particular the Fez tool one but they're all pretty similar so we can just go through the process of this one and, and, and go through the setup and we'll just start with the vacuum here and you can just see here I'm just showing you the front of the vacuum there where you plug in your drywall sander then you've got the on off switch there there you've got your auto clean which just clears the filter you can hear the bang bang as the vacuum's going that's what that noise is um, that's just your suction there you can adjust that from low to high um, just your where your sander hooks up to your vacuum there some of them have this some of them don't that's just to keep the dust in the machine stop that escaping out the front there and just a brake underneath if you want to keep your vacuum still um, we'll just look at the back there there's the lead for your power and just if you need to open the sander we've got two clips on either side you just pop them open and you can take the top off there and you can see the filter underneath there so all the machines will have a filter and if you need to replace it or clean it they just like, pop open like that but because I'm using a bag you can see I've got a bag inside the machine it keeps all the dust inside the bag this doesn't get too too dirty so it's always pretty good but if need if you need to replace it you just pop it out just like that and you can put a new one in or if you need to give it a bit of clean just give it a gentle bang on the floor and just get any dust out there it's always good to keep that clean just to maximize the suction or the airflow and if you are replacing it you just pop your new one in and you can just pop it straight back in just like that clips into place Like I said, I'm using a dust bag. Just keeps it all tidy. Um, if you don't use a dust bag, you you have a mess. Your filter gets clogged up, so always recommend it. These dust bags are sort of a one-time use, but they're quite expensive. So I have a little trick there where I cut the bottom of the bag off, just so I can empty it as it gets full. So I've just got a little clip on there and I can take that off there and I can just empty the dust out into a bag or a box. Because the dust gets quite heavy in the bag and the machine's quite heavy anyway so I like to keep it, keep the bag empty often as I can and there you can see that's just putting the clip back on there just to seal it up it's pretty easy bag goes in there's a little slot for the cardboard there just to slot into that goes over the tube and then just a little flap hooks over and I like to just fold the bag up and over that little bit of cardboard just so the clips holding the bag just get a bit of pressure on there when the dust gets in the bag and fills up so that stops it from tearing away so the top goes back on and the clips back up again we'll just unroll the lead here plug it in so your hose is on the top just like to keep things stored away just to protect them and from damage when they're not in use so you got obviously two ends of the hose, one end goes into the machine there I'll just open the little latch there just to allow the suction in and if you have a sanding mount you can mount that on top of your vacuum just for your sander to sit so we'll just have a look at the sander now and 
the fizz tool one comes nicely packed away in a box has instructions so if you're using a fizz tool one you can read those and just get fam familiar with it so you've got your main sanding part with the motor on it and then you've just got two little clips that unfold and your electrics there that and if you need to adjust those clips there you can do with a flathead screwdriver if, you, if you're having trouble putting on your extensions so you've got two extensions normally if it's an 8 foot stud or a 2.4 meter stud I just use the one handle and then the clips fold down just to lock it into place you can adjust those as I said and then just your electrics clip into the top there just to run the power through so you've got a little light on there which if it flashes constantly it means the little filter head is blocked up on top which is the air intake for the motor so you just want to always keep that clean that little casing pops off there and you can just clean that so the red light will always flash on once you turn the machine on but it's the constant flashing you want to look out for and if that happens just give that a clean just keep that let that air intake just to keep the sander cool while it's running so the sander can just sit on top of the fizz tool there and just to connect the hose there's a little green button there where you just push that and fold the clip down put the hose on and then that clips back up now you got a lead in your box so that your you can run power so the power will be coming from the vacuum which is already plugged in and the power will be running to the sander so that means you can set it to auto on the sander so once you turn the on off button on the sander that will turn on automatically now check the arrows on the lead there because that pops in and twists and locks into place and to undo it just untwist it and pull it out so it's got the arrows on the lead there if you have a look so we've got our speed dial that just adjusts the speed of the sanding head you've got your on off switch there then you've got your suction low and high you can adjust there on the sander Now up the top end you've got two options for suction. First option is to have the suction coming in the outer ring of the machine and the other option is to have it sort of the suction coming through the little holes which will help if you're sanding ceilings just to take the weight off from the machine it will sort of suck onto the ceiling. So I'd recommend starting with the outer suction first sometimes if you've got too much suction it could pull the machine too close into the drywall and just you'd be sanding too much off so and with the fizz tool machine there it, it actually doesn't I like to have it in between it doesn't actually sit in between that switch so I just use a little bit of tape there just to hold it so I get suction and the outer ring and in the inner ring just to that's just to gather as much dust as I can but and it depends on the grit you're using I like to use 180 grit sometimes 220 but yeah always start with less suction so we can switch it on to manual there or we can switch it on to auto which is what we want so once we turn the sander on and off it will turn the vacuum on and off with it 
So there you can see the disc spinning there, so you can adjust that as well. That's pretty pretty much it there. So that's pretty pretty right to go. If you're sanding higher ceilings or higher walls, you can put your extensions on just by unclipping your main arm there and just putting on the extensions. Just the same process, clipping in the handle there and putting the electric in. Just adds a bit of weight to it, so just take that into consideration. We're all ready to go, so I always recommend wearing earmuffs and a dust mask. Dust does escape, and a hat. I always wear a hat just to, if any dust is falling down, just to keep it out of out of my eyes. So here you'll see me doing some sanding there. So I like just to go around the outer edge first for the ceilings. What you're doing is you're just going to sand the edges, sand the middles. So I just run down as far as my ho length of the hoses. Run down the other edge and then through the middle. always good to stretch before you start you get a sore neck stretch the neck from looking up good little tip is to keep the vacuum behind you so if you're working from left to right as you see I am Put the machine over on the left and as you're going across you're pulling the machine towards you so you're not tripping over it so again we're just going up each edge and then back through the middle that's generally enough. If you've got all your settings correct, the suction correct, got the right grit sandpaper on. If you're starting off with a new piece of sandpaper, I like to just get another piece and give it a light sand just to take that initial grit off because it can dig in quite a bit. Or even just give it a little sand on the concrete floor. Here the walls here, I've taken the extensions off. I'm quite tall and it's a lot lighter without the extensions, so I recommend if you can just not using them if you can reach. And again, just up the edges through the middle. You sort of once you do a bit you'll get the hang of it and how how sort of fast you need to move and as your sandpaper wears out you'll sort of move a bit slower just to get that bit more sanding in. So once you've done your sanding I always like to clean up my machine. So if you have the vacuum cleaning accessories with it, I always like to just put them on and just clean up the sander of any dust. You'll always find that the lead wraps around the hose as you're working. You can just use some tape to tape it up to the hose to stop that. 
So I've just got the uh, little cleaning head there. So. Clean up the sander, any dust, ready for the next job. So especially on that where the air intake is, give that a clean, all the dust in there. You don't want that getting clogged up. It's just generally a good idea to look after your tools, they're expensive, expensive gear so Look after it the best you can, and I always store it away in the box. Just unclip it, fits in beautifully. And then the same with the machine, all the air intakes there, they've got filters, but it's always good just to give them a clean. That's about it, so I hope you learned something there. All the machines are pretty similar. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Glad to uh, answer them for you. That's all a learning curve. Once you start using it, you'll figure things out. Always like to adjust the bag as well. Empty if, it, if it's full. And just give it a bit of a whack on the top there just to clear those little holes where the air's sucking through just to get that gets you a bit more suction if you're having trouble with that so thanks for watching guys see you on the next one